Hello, this video is about complex numbers. In this clip, I'll be proving to you that the modulus of Z1 times Z2 is equal to the modulus of Z1 times the modulus of Z2. Now, in order to prove this, I need to write down that Z1 is equal to x plus iy, i being an imaginary number. This means that the modulus of Z1 is the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay. And if this is the case, if Z2 is equal to p plus iq, then the modulus of Z2 is equal to the square root of p squared plus q squared. Okay. Now, from these rules over here, I get this. Z1 times Z2 is x plus iy times p plus iq, okay? If I multiply everything over here, what I end up with is px minus qy plus i times qx plus py, which is another complex number, okay? which means that the modulus of Z1 times Z2 is equal to the square root of Px minus Qy squared plus Qx plus Py squared. Okay? Now, with all these rules, and you can multiply this out yourself to see if you get this result, what I should be able to get starting from the left hand side okay is let me see the modulus of z1 times the modulus of z2 is equal to the square root of px minus qy squared plus qx plus py squared, okay? Now, I've multiplied this out. I know what the result is going to be, okay? px minus qy squared is equal to this. So I'm going to put this over here, okay? Under the square root sign, which means I get p squared x squared minus 2 p q x y plus q squared y squared, okay? And this is plus, I'm going to put in brackets, q x plus p y squared, which is this over here, okay? So I'm going to put this in brackets. So q squared x squared plus 2pqxy plus p squared y squared, all in brackets like this, okay? So the modulus of z1 times z2 at the moment is this. And if we do the sums and everything over here, and the subtractions, what we end up getting is the square root of p squared x squared, okay, plus q squared y squared plus q squared x squared plus p squared y squared, okay? And I've simplified this, okay? This over here is the same as x squared plus y squared in brackets times p squared plus q squared in brackets. So what we have here is the square root of x squared plus y squared times p squared plus q squared, okay? And this is the same as the square root of x squared plus y squared times the square root of p squared plus q squared. 
And according to what we've written at the start over here, okay, this is equal to the modulus of Z1 times the modulus of Z2, which is the right hand side. And we've proven that the modulus of Z1 times Z2 is equal to the modulus of Z1 times the modulus of Z2. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your comments below.